Hi everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this Mama Goma snowman stack. So I hope you enjoy! For the top Mama Goma, you're going to roll a piece of clay of your color choice into a ball and then you're going to attach a piece of orange clay to look like the carrot and then add two little teardrop shapes pieces of clay to make it look like Mama Goma's arms, like as if he's holding the little piece of carrot. Next you're going to flatten a ball of black clay and place that on top of its head and then roll another piece into a tiny little cylinder and attach that on top to make the little top hat. For the other two mamagomas you're going to do the same thing with the body but you're going to attach a piece of clay onto it and then texture it with a ball tool or a toothpick to make it look like a piece of coal and you're going to want to make two of these. Taking another piece of clay of any color of your choice, you're going to roll it into a thin log and attach it on top of one of the coal mamagomas for the scarf, and then place the top mamagoma on top and the other one on the bottom. For the iceberg on the bottom, I took some light blue, um, some glitter and some white clay and then I just marbled it together and I put in a head pin into that just to secure it in place. And then you're just going to want to flatten it down and cut away some of the sides to make it look like an iceberg. Once you're happy with how that looks, you're just going to trim your head pin if you need to and then attach the mamagomas on top of the iceberg. And to finish off your sculpture, I'm just taking two little pieces of clay again and attaching them on the back of every mamagoma for the little feet and then just blend them together to keep them secure. So once you finish making your charm, you're going to go ahead and bake it and then I'm just taking some pink paint for the cheeks on every mamagoma and I'm just using a little dotting tool to paint those on. Next I'm taking some black paint and I'm just painting on the eyes on top of all the cheeks. And then just to finish off, when you're happy with how it looks, I'm just taking a toothpick and cleaning up any paint that transferred over onto the hands. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you took part in the charm swap then please make sure you check the description box. Bye guys!